and there he had young children. And he practiced a form of free schooling, one would say, in education. And he did all of that practice. But it was only in 1937 that he articulated his educational theory. So he practiced before he spoke. He deeply reflected on what he believed. And when the opportunity arose, he really put together the notion of his Naitala education. And uh, he, he was always very deeply reflective. So I think that's one. Second thing uh, that was extremely important in why I find Gandhi significant for today, for the contemporary time, is that he had the ability to stand up for what he believed, at, at whether everybody was against him or not. You know, he had this, um, this belief, for instance, in the charka, the uh, uh, hand, hand weaving, hand spinning and hand weaving of cloth. Now, this came out of boycotting Manchester cloth and finding a symbol of India's non-cooperation. It came up in the non-cooperation movement in 1921, uh, when he was back in India. Uh, but what is so significant is that many people said, oh, come on, you're crazy. Uh, this is just a spinning wheel. And he, he actually believed that all children should learn how to spin and that they should become self-supporting. They should actually support their education. And I think in spite of, this is just an example, there were many where he stood up in spite of everybody saying that's quite wrong. He had an incredible persistence. And I think that internal quality to believe in truth is what how he framed it, uh, was, was something that is necessary if you want to make change. In dealing with resistance, you have to kind of stare it down. Uh, you, you have to uh, learn how to handle deeply how to resist uh, uh, countervailing forces. And the third thing that I think is really significant as kind of a model uh, of values for young people was how he integrated his thinking. So he had a constructive program of 19 programs or something. But what was really interesting is they were all integrated. So that it's like you're in a circle and you can move into the circle from this side or from the top side or the bottom side and you always get to the same place of an integration. So his integrated programs which reflect his integrative thinking uh, was really, I think, interesting because what it shows me is that if we really want peace and no conflict in the world today, we need to walk peace, we need to be peaceful, but we need a way of integrating the way we, the way we act.